Hey everybody and I hope you're all well. Well, as promised, here we are up in Loch and Dorb country. Um, we're up in the, sort of the lower highlands at the moment. Um, but we are up at a bit of altitude. A bit of altitude here. And what I've actually done is driven the bike south. Elgin's that way, it's kind of north. And um, I've driven past Loch and Dorb and come to here because it's a lovely road going back into Loch and Dorb. So it'll probably look a lot better, I think. But um, let me just give you a kind of a pan around, like you see. Very exposed, you can, I'm sure you can hear the wind. We're very exposed up here. Those clouds are moving fast. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is um, I'm able to get the sun to come out. I'll try and time it in such a way. But uh, I'm not sure how fortunate I'm going to be with that. But yeah, take a look around. This is um, Heather, uh, Heather, um, which obviously Scotland's quite well known for. This bit's actually really boggy, and there's actually pools and there's fish in those pools. But walking out onto here in this basin is actually quite dangerous. You have to be very careful indeed. That's why I'm not venturing off. But before I jump back on the bike and head back down the road, most of you guys know I'm a Christian, so signs like this um, really please me. But this sign's been around as long as I can remember, especially since I was a boy. And it generally tends to get defaced a lot, but I've been told that the guy that owns uh, these lands actually keeps this thing up. And it's still here, and I know that other people do as well, and there's even people that take paint with them to, to go past and touch it all up. It hasn't been done for a wee while, but that's a very famous little sign, because in actual fact there's very few roads that actually run through this side so um it's right where the christians want to advertise jesus uh, yeah so anyway it's just a couple of miles back to lock and door back that way that's south i think this road is better so i'll get myself onto the bike and we'll head on right So guys, I've just driven about a mile or so up the road just to show you this part of it. Lock and Dorb is pretty much over there. So will look anyone come in. Yeah. Lock and Dorb is pretty much just over there, you guys. Let me just fix the camera. time round here you guys just so I can give you a I'm trying to have my head darting around this is where a fixed camera on the bike would be good for you guys watching uh, it's just been behind the clouds I think I'll come back out again though shortly there we go those are always the sheep roaming around as you can see there's no fences but um, I think they've got away from the herd actually yeah, so just a little road up here, and you'll see these poles. The snow can get very, very deep here. So these poles stick out the ground um, and through the snow to show you where the edge of the road is. And I've got them all the way down this bit here. But we are quite remote up here, you guys. It's, um, especially now that I'm travelling sort of inland. But like I said, that's the only, really, that's the only road that kind of goes through this, so you're not really see the boat. Here we go. Come on, son. Out you come. There you are. That sort of coloration that you're seeing on the hillside there is heather. They can kind of go purple and orange and all sorts of different colours. It's just beautiful. Lock and is just up right this bend here. You'll see the, you'll see the, the hillsides coming down now. I just want to take my time in case I do come across a sheep on this road. 
you that you know, you've actually got the comfy seat if you're sitting on a coffee because it is cold. My chin's really cold, my tips of my feet are cold. Uh, I'll be stopping soon anyway and I'll warm up. There we go. So it's not hugely remote, there's a big house at the side of the lock here. Um, I actually did the guy's heating system for him. It's a huge house. But guys, there you go, that's the ruined castle out in the middle there. And what we'll do is we'll drive round and stop just opposite. And uh, then we'll get off the bike and we'll have a look around. take my time on this but yeah I'm just concerned about any sheep but yeah there it goes like the wolf of Benox castle not the dorm castle I did the, uh, the Clodagh, oh I'm sorry you guys, we did the sort of drive through Elgin on the vlog and then we did the burned down um, Elgin Cathedral and uh, this is where the Wolf of Bainoch escaped to, out there to his castle and we will go out there with the canoe, we've been out before, go out with a canoe one day, go all the way around it and go inside it, it's just awesome and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Right, you guys have been waiting for the sun to come out, but um, just for the uh, next part, but you still want to stay in behind the clouds. So I thought I'd just give you a quick look around. I know it doesn't look like much, but um, this sort of characterises a lot of um, places in Scotland. Uh, lots of you know, big areas of heather. So I just want to show you some Scottish heather. Is there any purple around? No. But this, you guys, is good old Scottish heather. And it's very robust, but you know, to handle the conditions up here. But um, you have to be quite careful. I mean, that's the road right there. You walk in here, let me just show you how boggy it is. And that stuff, you just heard it there, hopefully, just sucks you in. So you've got to be very careful. As you can see, this bit's really full as well and then this land just absolutely soaks up the water like a sponge um, so you have to be quite careful like I said I'll get out of here safely yeah so we wait for the sun to come across but the sun's quite low so it's that side of the loss getting kissed by the sun and this side's not but let's go let me just be careful here as well Here we are, this is keeping me fit. And some people have been having a campfire, and I wouldn't blame them. But yeah, there we are, let me give you a proper look at that. I was wanting the sun to come out. It's a pain, just so you can really see it. But the castle's basically like a square, um, like that. And if you take your canoe out and go in just that side, there's actually a little harbour area and you can tie your canoe up. But this lock itself, you'll see it's really quite wide, but um, Loch Endorb is really shallow. And we've been out fishing here loads of time in the past, 
and just beyond the castle over over that other side, you're right out in the middle, and we actually grounded the boat. Um, the bottom of the the bottom's just like real pebbly, you know, and uh, we grounded the boat there. But you'll see as the rocks start going out like that. It's very shallow all the way around the edge. And I think one of the times we were up here was on a, a Land Rover Experience Day when the, the new Discovery 3 first came out and uh, we took it down that side and into the water and all the way around and back in again which was just tremendous, obviously but um, yeah, and if it was really warm I could have easily have pulled up my leathers and walked out to that bit or taken you out as far as I could but we'll do that another day As you can see over at the other side of the loch, it is an absolutely beautiful day. Well, hopefully you'll see how bad the wind is. Yeah, so I think I'm going to make this a bit of a longer video, you guys. I think what I'll do is I'm going to head on down to the trees, down to the tree line. I'll take a sandwich and uh, some chocolate and whatnot, so I'm going to sit there and eat it. I'll maybe do my, my video diary down there as well. There you are, you guys. Second, I think, oh, it was, was, it, was it King Edward II? I can't remember. But he laid siege to that castle as well. I'm trying to figure out how they did it. it must have been on boats or something. And this is where I embarrass myself if I get stuck. But it should be okay. Yeah. I don't want to get this thing stuck. This bike weighs 210 kilos. And if I get stuck, I'd have a major issue. <laughs> oh, you know. Right, you guys. Just get the camera set. You guys. Get the camera set. So you'll see what I was talking about when we come round here. The guy has actually fenced off that section because he's got loads and loads of new trees that have been planted, which is awesome. Is somebody stopping for a cup of tea and a sandwich? Yes, yeah, so you'll see the sign just there. New plantation, please keep off. That's a shame because I wanted to go in there. Never mind. But when we do come up around this area here, I've been out here for ages, but um, when we do come uh, up over here, you're going to see a little bit of mountainside, which is great. Lockendorb Lodge. A bumpy road, and out comes the sun. Thank you. Back up the lock in just a second, up over this hill. Yeah, I'm okay to go a little fast on this section. But again, I'm back to watch out for sheep. So here we go, you guys. We're down at the sort of south end of the loch, the bottom of the loch, I suppose. And there you are, you guys. There's some real sort of mountain sights now. Not quite the Highland yet, but getting there. We are up quite high just now, actually. Let me just keep pointing the camera forward so you get a really nice view of those mountainside there. That is beautiful. Yeah, the sun's just touching out. You should see the, the little um, sort of Stream or river that actually feeds the loch. 
just up here. And guys, I haven't been up here for ages, so I'm just gonna keep my eye out for the tarn off. Feel it's just up here. by ourselves. Yeah, this is the way. So there you are, just a quick look at the mountains before we, my eyes are on the road as we're turning this corner. Not the easiest of things to do. Yeah, oh yeah, it's been a while since I've been up here, you guys. But um, let's go round the loch this way. Oh, sorry you guys, I should really slow down for that bit. There you go, and you'll see Lock and Dorm House just being kissed by the sun now. I'll keep my eyes on the road, you guys. Whatever, I think we've got this section here. Yeah, I just can't remember, there's a, there's a turn off up here somewhere. Yeah. Uh -huh. 